All right, both players are ready. So let's count this one down in three, two, one, Tetris. Both players are already going with different openers. It's always interesting to see with same piece sets how long it takes before the player's stacks diverge, and in this case it took one piece. And Somalian having to take a couple of burns already, so looks like Romir's opener working out a little better, although as I say that he does get an awkward S piece which he has to put in the middle. Uh, I believe he is Marfram. I believe he is a butterfly tapper. Ramir cleaning up right now. Somalian at 47,000 gets a Tetris to go to 69,000. Hey now, Tetris for Romir, 79,000. Tetris for Somalian, 92,000. Nice adjustment on that left side. Often quite a good idea to put that square in 1-2 even when it creates an overhang. It's a very nice flat formation to have on the left and you can always put another square on top of it if you get more. I mean, doing a little bit more cleanup right now. But yeah, butterfly tapping and pushing down, that's, uh, that's a lot of fingers doing a lot of inputs. It's very input intensive playstyle. You can see it just by watching the hand cam. I mean, set up for a dirty Tetris right now in row 5 has some burn options. Getting that J over to the left helps a lot. Tetris for Rhymea, 138. Somalian with a Tetris. Sticking with the traditional right well, 187. Looks like Rhymea fully cleaned up now, 164 for him. Somalian, unsurprisingly, given the high seating, has made a very clean, efficient start. Somalian is probably one of the best free kill screen players we have, at least in competition. Like, you know, he's not out there getting 1.5 into kill screen in solo play, but I mean, I just remember that CEL season where he had like a winning record um, while dying on 28 from a failed roll switch in most of his sets and he was still like competitive in a CEL full of rollers and I might have just done the ultimate commentator's curse because he is in a lot of trouble right now. Speaking of roll switch, uh, that may be necessary with the board looking like it is. In fact, I don't even think the roll switch is going to save him here. A classic commentator's curse does Somalian in at 263. Rymir passed that as soon as he topped out. So Rymir's good, and Rymir takes the first game. Alright, both players are ready. Let's count down game two in three, two, one, Tetris. Nice adjustment there from Somali in moving the long bar into column 9 for the square in 7 8. A couple of annoying S pieces for Somali, and oh, that Z is horrible as well. It's a very awkward sequence for Somali, and that's a nice long bar. That helps quite a lot. But Rami is going to take a small early lead. Rami are not going for the Z spin. Had a chance to maybe solve that overhang with the Z-spin, but now he's going to have to burn off the top. So neither player having an ideal start, both struggling a little bit with that sequence. I mean, it's 77,000, but it's six lines ahead. 
And Rymir is pushing down, and Somalian isn't, so that'll be a theme throughout the set. Rymir is going to get a little bit ahead in lines. Nice adjustment for that square from Rymir. 124 for him, 100,000 for Somalian. Yes, I did in fact say the final letter of the Latin alphabet in that way. <laughs> it's, it's very good for chat engagement. All I have to do is literally say a letter of the alphabet and all the Americans start posting skull emojis. I, th I think this is this is the strat for monthly Tetris. If we want maximum chat engagement, we need we need as many commentators from like the British Anglosphere as possible. All right, we're looking quite neck and neck right now. Rami at one eighty one thousand, Smiling at one seventy seven. Tetris for Ramir. Somalian looking very clean, dealing with a slight drought at the moment, though, taking a very safe double. Look, I don't know if British Anglosphere is an actual term, but basically I meant all the Anglosphere countries which are, like, more influenced by Britain than the US. Like, I'm not gonna say British English, because I wouldn't really say that I speak British English, I don't live in Britain, but... Like, I thought, you know, it's not, it's definitely not a term that actually exists now that I think about it, but I thought it made sense anyway. Oh, slight misdrop on that T for Rami, that should burn off fairly easily. I mean, not... Everywhere I'm thinking of is not everywhere is actually part of the Commonwealth. Most of them would be though. That would have worked, but instead I invented a term that nobody's ever going to use again. So see, this is working for chat engagement as well though. People are criticizing me for for inventing weird terms that don't exist. My evil plan is going exactly as it should. Alright, Rami is in a little bit of trouble right now. 365, it's bringing it down. Nice L for the right side. Somalian at 357 is behind in real time right now, but definitely ahead in pace, is 17 lines behind. Tetris for Ramir. 394. Tetris for Somalian. 385. Ramir approaching transition as one more Tetris available. Nice long bar to fill in that middle. Alright, Rami, I will transition with this Tetris. 446. Smiling with plenty of runway to beat that, still 10 lines away from transition. Rami is off and running, has already scored a Tetris on 19 to go to 473. Seems to have had no trouble with the speed change. Nice couple of burns, gets the well back open. Tetris for Ramir, 503. Somalian can catch that actually into transition if he gets one more Tetris here. Somalian waiting and waiting, gets the Tetris eventually. 505 transition on his side. Rami is set up for a dirty Tetris in column 8. He's gonna have to burn that down. Oh, maybe not. He's committing. Takes another double. He's not getting the bar. Still not getting it. Has some burn options. Triple into the Tetris. Nicely done from Rami. 
574. Tetris again, 604. Somalian at 563, once again, quite comfortably ahead in pace, but behind in real time, so if anything were to happen to him, Ramia would take the game. And having those points already on the board does count. Somalian taking the triple there. He's playing this quite safe. I think after what happened to him in game one, that makes a lot of sense. Smiling, having to burn quite a lot at the moment. Rami at 678 into level 25, gets a Tetris to go to 709. Tetris for Somali in 616 has lost quite a bit of his pace lead from that dig. Rami is continuing to score 741. Nice burn on the right side for Somali and Tetris for him 648. Rami is starting to get into the end game now. Might have some kill screen with the butterfly tapping. It does have potential on 29, but Somalian will switch to rolling once he gets close to 29, so he should have the advantage on that speed. Seven fourteen for Somalian. Having to burn some more, and I think is actually behind where Ramir was at this point in the game. Ramir's on 28 now, at 222, gets a Tetris to go to 919, has one more Tetris available. The board's falling apart a little bit. No holes just yet. Transitions into 29 at 925, we'll see what he can do. Trying to set up for the Tetris, maybe. Doesn't get the long bar over to column nine. Oh, it overtaps the next one. So Ramia's done at 927. Somalian, you need to get to 928. This is doable before 29. But depending on whether he gets the bars or not, he may need some 29 for it. I think he's got two burns to get this chase down before 29. Takes them both there. So some pressure on Somalian right now. This is not a free chase down. He is going to need some 29 now. Goes in at 909. A couple of miss drops right away. This is getting really sketchy for Somalian. He can't get anything over and he's done at 909. Somalian misses the chase down. And Ramir is up two to nothing. Okay, both our players are ready. Let's count down what could be the last game of the set in three, two, one, Tetris. And this is really the beauty of Mega Masters. You wouldn't even get to see a matchup like this in a normal month. You know, with these calls in a normal month, Rimea would be in hopefuls and Somalian would be a mid seed in Masters. But just for this one month of the year, we get to see this kind of thing, and sometimes it produces surprising results. I mean, with the line spin set up, hits the spin. Somalian losing never surprises me, says Mafram. What are Somalian's master's stats like? I don't even know when the last time he played in, like, normal Masters was. But, what are his stats like? What is Somalian's fair median score? Is it, like, 200k? No, I'm sure Somal- I've seen Somalian win a game in Masters before. It was in like 2021, but I remember Somalian versus Toby in Masters and Somalian won. And it was kind of clutch as well. It was actually a very good performance from Somalian. I have no idea how long ago this was. My sense of time is completely shot, but I remember it existing.
All right, Tetris for Somali in 165. I'm at 136 with a couple of dependencies, but gets an L and J to fill that pretty quick. That just for right me at 160. Yes, this is the hot mustard bracket. I think actually not putting the hot mustard meme in the title was a missed opportunity. Ramea running into some complications at the moment doesn't really have a spot for either of those S's. Longbar dependent in the middle now, not Tetris ready either. Really needs the bar right now. Has blocked the dependency, couple miss drops on top, and Rymea tops out at 167. So the potential start of the reverse sweep is here. Actually no, let's let's go from the bottom. Right, both players are ready. Let's count down game four in three, two. One, Tetris. You cannot monitor moderator Ronkley. Oh, that's disappointing. I do find him quite suspicious. What if he does it to himself? Does it work then? Nice adjustment from Somali in creating that long bar dependency for the one in the next box. Ramea starts off perfect for three Tetrises, but board's getting a little bit jagged, so has to burn it. Not too much cleanup needed. Already quite a few lines ahead. With the push down, that happens very quickly, so it can be quite difficult to compare scores. As you can compare pace, but having the points on the board is definitely worth something. Somalian's board did more than just points on it, a little bit of garbage for him to clean up as well. Um, Sodium, I think that as long as you're using, like, keys that aren't too big, um, it's fine. I think as long as you're using standard size keys, then butterfly's fine. Like, I think there were some people who got, um, who got removed, or not removed, but like not allowed to play because they were using bigger than normal keys to butterfly on, but as long as it's a normal size key, then that's allowed. Yes, Sodium, please quit rolling and switch to Butterfly. I mean, the spacebar wouldn't really work because it's only one key, um, so you'd only be able to move one direction with the spacebar. But I, I don't think you're allowed to use it anyway, but I don't really think that it, anyone would want to, because it moves you one direction. I suppose if you really wanted your left taps to be, like, really fast for some reason, you could, like, butterfly the spacebar and do whatever to go right, but I don't think anybody is doing that. Alright, 287 for Somalian, 332 for Rimea. Rimea once again with the lead, is 8 lines ahead at the moment, they're about even in pace. That overtap from Rimea is going to complicate things though, nice bar. Getting decent pieces for the left side too. Would love a long bar for the middle. Gets it open just in time, gets the long bar down, just needs one more burn to open the well back up. I mean, now Tetris ready. Struggling to keep the well open through that sequence, though. The piece is not being too friendly. Oh, you can see the camera jolt. He really put all his effort into that left tap, and he needed to. Left side looking a bit concerning. Alright, Rami, it gets that long bar over to the right. 
Oh, gets S all the way over to the left. A nice tap from Ramir. Nice J. Ramir. Oh my goodness, he's going for the Tetris. No interest in burning this. He's going for the Tetris. And he gets it. Tetris for Ramir. Row 7. 381 for him, but Somalian has taken the lead. Somalian is at 413 right now, in a potential dirty Tetris situation of his own, although he's not going for it. He's taking the conservative way out, and getting punished by the game anyway. The game not being super kind to Somalian with these pieces right now. Gets the well back open, but still has a hole to contend with. Quite a jagged middle means I'll have to make another one. Alright, Somalian bringing this down slowly. Ramir right with a bar hang on the left side. We'll probably want to get that sorted before transition, which is coming in just four lines. This is going to be quite difficult to sort now, though. This is not the kind of board Ramir wants. This next single, or whatever burn it ends up being, will bring him into transition. That is not a height that a tapper can survive on 19. Ramir has done it 461. Lost control of the board at the wrong time, and Somalian is good. And we're going to a decider. Okay, both players are ready. This is it. All comes down to this in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Seeing a lot of basketball references that I don't understand in the chat right now. I think people <laughs> people are comparing Somalian to LeBron James in some capacity. <laughs> what is basketball? Yes, congratulations Somalian on being LeBron James. May it help you win this Tetris match. What does this mean for LeBron's legacy? If Somalian misses the reverse sweep, what will it mean for LeBron's legacy? Right. LeBron has a long bar dependency on the left side right now. Made a couple of holes on the right while waiting as well, so he's got a bit of cleanup to do. Ramir not with an ideal board either, has a hole in row one. It looks like he's gonna go for the dirty Tetris. I think we've seen enough of his playstyle now to see this kind of thing coming. Fairly clean setup at the moment. But the long bar's not showing and it's getting a bit less clean now. One eleven for Ramir. He does have the score lead at the moment. Has the setup open. Gets the dirty Tetris. Row four. Sets up another one. Not moving the well at all. Gets it. One sixty for Ramir. Oh, lovely burn with that flat long bar. Tetris again. Back down to row two now. Back over to the right well. Only slightly dirty now for Ramir. Uh, Matthew 99A, Ramir is doing what's called butterfly tapping, which, I mean, I guess in a way is two finger rolling. It's just like, I think it's usually considered hyper tapping, but it's, yeah, just tapping with two fingers instead of one. Yeah, it's like a slightly less complicated version of what Moya does. <laughs> Thank you, Burrito Dad. Very cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
I can't remember if this is even supposed to be a family-friendly stream or not, but it's not right now, I can tell you that. For those of you watching on other platforms who are spared from the current Twitch chat, um, don't leave, stay right where you are. Do not come to Twitch. Alright, Tetris for Romeo, 314, has a comfortable lead right now, Somalian at 220, not with a clean board either. Somalian will make some progress on cleaning up with that long bar. Trying not to set up the dirty Tetris, the game kind of forces him into it and at least has the decency to give him the bar. 247 for Somalian, 344 for Rymea, although Rymea is, um... About 20 lines ahead right now. Tetris for Romeo, 108. Nice burn with that L. Has a long bar dependency, but does fill that in pretty quick. Alright, Somalian looking very clean right now. Let's put the early struggles behind him. Kick viewers. Look, if you're watching us on Kick, then I'm proud of you, but I don't know how many people are watching us on Kick. <laughs> oh, wait, no, did someone actually come over from the YouTube stream to see what we were talking about? Oh, no. Oh, well, I guess not anymore. Rime has transitioned. 487. Is Tetris ready on 19? Tetris for Rimea. Into level 20 at 515. Somalian's still with a fair way to go to transition. It's waiting for an S. Not getting it. Still waiting. Could go for the L spin, but he's gonna miss it. Rami at 565, locked in on 19 right now, has no trouble whatsoever with the speed change. Getting droughted a little bit, gets a Tetris, 600,000 for Rami. Somalian into 19 at 444. He does have some catch up to do. This does need to be an efficient 19 from Somalian. Tetris for Rimea, 6.30. Tetris for Somalian, 4.75. Obviously, the real-time lead is a bit exaggerated because Somalian's two entire levels behind, but it's still daunting being that far behind, even knowing that you have more runway. 7.02 right now for Rami on solid max out pace. Tetris for Somalian, 5.56. Rami not letting up whatsoever. He gets a Tetris, 7.62. Tetris again, 7.93 into 25. Rami is making the most of this opportunity, playing his heart out right now. Somalian getting droughted, waiting and waiting for the bar. It's not coming. Can't access that left. Needs to take a triple. Eventually gets the bar. 650 for Somalian. 864 right now in mid-26 for Rimea. Tetris for Somalian, 680. Somalian really trying his hardest to be efficient here. He's about 50k behind where my Rimea was into 24. So he will need a strong endgame. Rimea's now at 934 on level 27. Takes a double. Has a very clean board right now. Tetris into 28 at 972. He only needs one more for the max. And Somalian with a misdrop on the right side. That is not going to be simple to clean up. 
Ramir has maxed out into kill screen at A44. We'll see what he can do. Butterfly tapping does give him some mobility on kill screen. Somalian can't get that L over and he's gonna top out. 781 Somalian is done. The eighth seed is out of the tournament in the first round. 40,000 channel points have disappeared into the ether. Everyone is poorer. The CEM economy has crashed. Rymia with a massively clutch game 5, getting the max out. And that does it. Both players are ready. Let's count- wait, hang on, is Dog ready? Okay, Dog's just checking the line cap. Alright, both players are actually ready now. Let's count this one down in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. I'm convinced that G's has more channel points. Okay, the points are coming in now. There are 46.9k on dog. Oh, up above 60,000 now. Okay, the points are flowing in. Never mind. I've convinced... I seem to have convinced people. Or maybe people have just convinced themselves. I don't even know. <laughs> Something's happened. Now people are spending their money. Bisbee with a slightly complicated board, an unfortunate S piece there. Is able to open up the wall, gets a Tetris. 49,000 for Bisbee, 46,000 for Dog. <laughs> I had to pawn my keyboard for channel points to bet on Dog. Okay, people are going to some lengths to keep gambling. This says a lot about society. Alright, 115 for Dog. Dog with a characteristic efficient start. 64,000 for Bisbee has had a few difficulties. Nice setup with that T. Very efficient build of the right side from Bisbee. Tetris for Bisbee, 87,000. Bisbee setting up an overhang with like another S. Already tucked one S in, gets the second S, and that'll fill it in completely. This be going with an interesting delayed burn on that right side. It will leave a hole. So we'll need a couple of burns on the right side to open it back up. Tetris for Dog, 190. 137 for Bisbee. Dog already taking about a three Tetris lead early on. Tetris for Dog passes 200k. Alright, where are we at with the prediction? How's it looking? Okay, we've got 95,000 on Dog and 12,000 on Bisbee. Oh, never mind, someone just dumped another 50k on Dog. So now we're at 145. Big money's going into Dog right now. People are mad. People are mad from everything they lost. They won their money back. Nice S spin from Dog. Tetris for Dog, 305. 231 for Bisbee, both players at the exact same line count. Dog, three Tetrises ahead. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Ecstasy of Auto Qual Month. What, what if we use, like, the really weird format they used in CWC 2010 as well for Masters event? We have, like, all the players at once, and one of the rounds is, like, playing for lines, and then we have the final, which is, like, normal. Oh, Bisbee hanging that bar on the left side! Doesn't get the second one over either, but is able to get another one, and another one needed two to fill out that left. Little bit hair-raising there for Bisbee. But he's gonna be alright. It's funny that you mention that. Wait, is there some secret plan that I don't know about? Of course I wouldn't know about it. Oh, 
Qualifying is open. Well, maybe it's the Ecstasy of Order Qual format. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we've already started, like, accepting quals for next month, so it probably isn't. But that message from Vandy has me quite interested. Tetris for dog, 492. Standard dog pace. Bisbee at 387. He's doing fine, but because his opponent is dog, that leaves him 100k behind. Tetris for Dog, 538. Dog, I think, at least last time I checked the Mafram stat sheet, um, has the highest all-time median transition score. So he's been doing this for years now. Dog's 18 is, over the history of this game, been the best. It's about a Tetris off averaging 600k, which is pretty crazy. There are some people who average 600k in 2024, but 2024 is still a small sample size. Alright, Dog at 590 needs one more Tetris for the 600 transition. Bisbee has transitioned at 491, gets a Tetris right away on 19 to go to 515. Tetris for Dog, 615. Oh, that's an interesting idea, Vandy. Hang on, I need to read the first part of it again. CDM the Eris Tour. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. It's time. Tetris for Dog, 693. Bisbee getting up quite high, needs to burn. 574 for Bisbee. Longbar dependency in a very uncomfortable spot for Bisbee. He gets it open back up. He's giving himself a chance. Just waiting for another bar though. Maybe if he gets a J soon. Has to throw a T in there. Opens it back up. Really, really needs a bar. Dirty Tetris for Bisbee. That's on like row 12 or something ridiculous. Too many rows even to count. Bisbee opens up the well, gets one on the right well. Gets another Tetris for Bisbee. Wait, why is everyone saying my name in chat? What's going on? Oh, right, that's just people asking who's commentating. Anyway, the game. Uh, Tetris for Bisbee, 707. Does have a bar hang on the left side. Hangs another one on top of it. We'll need to burn now. This be probably glad he didn't have those mechanical issues earlier when he was right up the top of the board. But still, you don't love having that at any time. This be's board now getting slightly more complicated. Tetris for Dog. Dog goes to 921. Dog has a few burns of his own to deal with. Nice J there. Getting a couple of squares doesn't really care much for those. Dog's left side looking a bit low. See how the game decides to trade him here. Okay, doesn't get trolled. Dog's gonna be fine. 962 for Dog. We'll take the triple, is playing this safe. Tetris for Bisbee into 27 at 771. Dog with a couple of J dependencies, gets them both filled in. We're looking a bit jagged and of course immediately got a square. So the game perhaps not being so nice to Dog. Bisbee once again in a spot of bother. Has the well open, gets the Tetris. Oh, doesn't get the L over. Okay, Bisbee has two lines left to go before 29. We'll transition with that burn. Does have a workable board. Gets that long bar all the way left. All right, Bisbee's bringing this down. Tetris for Dog, A91 into 29. Bisbee on level 30 is at A89. Couple of misdrops. Doesn't get that J over left, that's gonna do it for Bisbee. 
He tops out at 889. Dog will get the 1.1 with that triple. Dog possibly on the way to topping out himself, but it will be enough. And also go follow me and make Australia great again, apparently. I don't know what people are talking about. Let's just count down game two in three, two, one, Tetris. Oh yeah, and it is Dengla Day as well, that's right. Yes, happy birthday, Smooth. Well, yeah, Galaxy, but, like, my Twitch background still says Make Australia Great on it. I think that's what people are referring to. It's still that picture of Clive Palmer. Alright, both players underway, quite different looking boards, but both perfect so far. Bisbee won't be able to... S oh, Bisbee's board actually getting quite dangerous. Kept it very flat and clean, and it just kept getting higher. He didn't really have great burn options, but was able to bring it down, get the Tetris there. 49,000 for Bisbee. Tetris again, 72,000. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Make Australia great and make New Zealand pay for it. Honestly, yeah, they should build a wall between Victoria and New South Wales. Tetris for Bisbee. Was waiting for something for that overhang and never got it, so has a hole now, but nice long bar fills that in. Dog at 123, Bisbee at 121. Tetris for Bisbee, 146. Both players at 146 right now. Dog struggling slightly with this bar dependency in column 3. Just waiting and waiting. Gets the bar eventually. Uh, Galaxy, I wouldn't say so. I don't think there's anyone who quite captures the amazingness of Clive Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> in New Zealand. Anyway, yes, this is, um... <laughs> this, this is the Tetris stream, not the Australasian politics stream. Tetris for Dog, 250. Wonderful adjustment for that J on the right side. Quite a rare setup for that particular tuck with the vertical T, but Dog saw it, saw that it would make the board better and went for it. Tetris for Bisbee, who has the lead right now, but also is 11 lines ahead. 334 for Bisbee, 274 for Dog. Tetris for Dog. 300,000. Bisbee getting a couple of long bars there. The second long bar was quite nice. He's gonna miss the 5 tap though. He's had a few struggles with that so far. Lovely double with that L, but still needs a bar to reopen fully and is not getting it. Oh, Bisbee really not liking this set of pieces. Gets the long bar over, gets the Tetris, but has a lot more work to do now. This is Dog's chance to catch up. Bisbee still ahead at 410. Dog not getting the bar though. It's sort of the ideal outcome when you've misdropped and have to clean up if if you if you're not like actively bar dependent, then you want to, you want to not get bars because that means your opponent doesn't get any. It's one of the sort of unequal things that can still exist in the same piece sets. 
Your opponent can either get lucky while you're not able to score, or get not lucky while you're not able to score, and that can make quite a big difference. Tetris for Bisbee, 486. Tetris for Dog, 467. Dog definitely with a pace lead now, but Bisbee's still ahead in real time because he's 14 lines ahead. Tetris for Dog, 514, does take the real time lead. Bisbee, nice adjustment for that J, working on row 3 at the moment. He's a roller, he can do what he wants, although maybe not this close to transition. Maybe he needs to be a little careful. Transitions with that Tetris, 537, immediately grabs another to go to 561, and looks like he wants to bring this down now. Alright, Bisbee brings it back down to row 1. Gets set up. Tetris ready on level 20. Dog not having a great time with this sequence right before transition. Fills in the long bar dependency. Next line clear will take him into 19. Transitions at 564. A dog with a little bit of cleanup to do early on 19. Bisbee, much the same. Left side looking a bit scuffed right now. He's able to fill that in. Now needs to work on the middle. Oh, misses the L to the left. Another missed five tap. These are starting to really hurt Bisbee. Bisbee gets that J over. Gets it over quite easily, in fact. Doesn't get that L over, though. That's going to do it. Bisbee's done at 6.30. Dog is good. Dog goes to match point. Both players are ready, let's count down game 3 in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Oh wait, this be ready and then started a 4-6 game. Alright, it's fine. The starts are close enough. It's only off by like 3 pieces, we can keep going. Bands. <laughs> non mod bands mod. Right. Both players often running with two Tetrises. Both with quite different looking but quite clean boards. It's looking like a reasonably nice opening sequence this time. What is that sequence of characters, Dirk? <laughs> I don't even know how you would pronounce that. Well, Bisbee with a couple misdrops. Board not looking so fantastic at the moment. Nice flat bar. Right, Bisbee is ready for quite a dirty Tetris, does get it. Tetris on row, I believe that's seven, yes, seven if I can count properly for Bisbee. Bisbee with one more hole to open up. Gets that open, gets a Annoying S piece there, but we'll set up the L tuck and get the L. 148 for Bisbee, 187 for Dog. Uh, Mr. Spoopy's skeletal, that's not something I was planning to Google anytime soon. I can't say that crossed my mind. Right, Bisbee getting up quite high. Needs to bring this down. Tetris for Bisbee, 200,000. Tetris for Dog, 241. Yeah, I think, um, 
I think last year we went by Twitch names, but the nameplates are like players' actual names that they actually go by now. Which I noticed when my name in my match wasn't wide, like the underscores weren't in it, which they were last year. Oh, Bisbee missing the rotation on that Zed. Fortunately had some burn options. That was quite high above his right side. But still, this is not a simple situation at all. It's keeping this under control for now, but a run of bad pieces. Like that S! Like that S followed by three squares! That most certainly counts as a run of bad pieces. And it tops Bisbee out at 257. So Dog is good. Dog will take the sweep. What? Okay. Both our players are ready. There is a prediction. Everything's in order. Let's count this one down in 3, 2, 1... Tetris. People are really going in for Dog this time. Oh, a bit of a king bar in the middle for Dog. Not too bad overall for his board. He can certainly work around that and he is doing it. But yes, people going all in this time. 495,000 points on Dog. 18,000 on Rymia, but if this is anything like the game against Somalian was, those people are going to be very rich in about half an hour. Quite possible, Zentro. Uh, no, I don't think they ever played Mr. Spooby Skeletal. I don't think Dog ever played Jonas. Nice adjustment from Dog, setting up that square tuck on the right side. Yeah, we've got a few keyboard players in, Mas in Mega Masters Twitch Viewer 8888. And none of them are noobs, because you did need a max out average to get in here. And Rymia has also just beaten the 8th seed, so I would not classify him as a noob. Tetris for Rymia, 153. Also, he has the lead right now. That's another vote in favour of not being a noob. Doc's at 166, Rymia's at 175. Although Dog takes it back there with the Tetris to go to 189. I mean, getting a little bit sketchy here. Nice J and L combo, that'll burn off Rymir's troubles. Tetris for Rymir, 203. Dog's in a bit of a pickle right now as well. Having to chuck a few bars over into column 10, just making this dig take longer. <laughs> yeah, hi not virgin. We're gonna have to exclude you from our exclusive club, if that's what you are. You're not welcome here. Tetris for Rymia, 258. Rymia starting to build a bit of a lead. Dog at 237. Rymia gets another Tetris, 281. Tetris again for Rymia, 306. And Rymir doesn't have much of a line lead right now. In fact, both players at the exact same line count. We're neck and neck. This is a keyboard butterfly tapper playing it neck and neck with Dog so far. Takes out Somalian. Now keeping up with Dog on 18. This guy can play. 
Oh, a bit of a misdrop there. We'll see if we get another um, commentator's curse like I uh, did to Somali in, in game one of their set. So yes, I do bear some responsibility for that upset, at least according to some of chat. Yes, Gamba about to close. Get your get your channel points in if anyone's got any left. Tetris for Dog, 103. 406 for Raimea. <laughs> yeah, true deck. Rymir has no fear. Dog is hiding behind this board. Oh, someone handing Rymir a snack mid-game. <laughs> Alright, Rymir coming up on transition. Hopefully we'll have finished that mouthful by the time the speed increases. Tetris for Rymir, 481. 495 for Dog. I think Dog has taken a slight pace lead now. Alright. Rami is off and running on 19. Gets a Tetris. Dog has one more available. Is it 519? Oh, goes with the delayed 6 and below on the right side. That is a placement of all time from Dog. It's gonna work out perfectly. 567 for Dog, 560 for Ramea. Dog's board looking a little jagged, and he's getting a lot of squares. Yet just keeps getting them. Got like three in a row there, so Dog will have to burn. Ramea also burning right now. Does have an open well, though not for long. Tetris for Ramea, 597. Tetris again for Rami, and Dog's board not safe at all right now. Gets that L over left. Dog not looking happy. Gets the Tetris there. 6 12. Tetris for Rami, 657 into level 23. Bit of a line lead, but he does still have the real time score lead. Ooh. Bit of an interesting delayed burn on the right side, and he doesn't get the Z over. Alright, nice L for the left, but he's gonna need a bar very quickly, and he doesn't get it. Ramia tops out at 660. Dog just needs this one Tetris. Game's making him wait his time for it. I don't think he's seen a bar since, like, the middle of level 22. But with that single, Dog is good. 661, that'll be enough. Right, both players are ready. Let Rymir take a sip of water first. Then we'll get this one counted down in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Underway, Rymia with his characteristic push down, taking an early lead, about 150 points ahead right now. Oh, that is a loaded question, Murray. How did Somalian's game go? Well, you might notice, uh, this is round two, and Somalian's not here. Tetris for Rymia. 80,000. Dog has had to take a few burns early on. He's at 50,000. Lovely adjustment for that L. Dog getting a few more squares than he'd like right now. I mean, up a tad bit high, but gets a Tetris to bring that down. 106. Nice J for the left as well for Ramea. Tetris again, 129. Dog is still digging. Dog is set up on row 6. Oh, doesn't get that set over left, but we'll get the Tetris on row 6. 
And it's a perfect transfer to... I was able to start bringing this down. But Ramia will have an early lead as a result. 176 for him. Staying aggressive. Game unfortunately not rewarding him for it. Not having such a good time right now. Waiting and waiting, still no bar. Takes the double. Tetris for Raimia finally sees a bar. 230 now on his side, 184 for Dog. Oh, you bet 200k on Dog Deck. Wow. That's... that's quite a bit of money. You're probably gonna get a payout of like 210 if he wins, so the rate of return wouldn't be that high. But you certainly don't want to lose 200k. Nice burn from Ramir. Perfectly cleans up the right side. Tetris for Ramir, 326. Two seventy-eight right now for Dog. Ramir is nine lines ahead, so they've got very similar paces. Once again, this is like statistically the best 18 player in CDM Masters history. And right now Ramir is keeping up with him, although I couldn't even finish that sentence before he topped out. Got a little bit aggro there, didn't get the pieces. 328, Ramir's done. Dog needs one more Tetris. So yeah, 329 is the target for Dog. One more Tetris will do it, of course he's getting drowned. <laughs> There's just no bar in sight. Okay, this is getting a bit silly. There's the Tetris. Dog goes up to the nothing. So yes, Dog, you are good. You can top out. Dog's doing something. Let's get this one counted down in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. I mean, I don't really know, um... I don't really know what, like, scope there is for inventing a new technique for moving the pieces. Because, like, we're already at the sort of 30 hertz limit. Like, the only way to... The only way to go above that is with the left-right glitch, which is kind of not allowed, because you can't do it on a proper original controller. You can get 40 hertz with that, in theory. Even that would be quite difficult to play sustained double kill screen with. I mean, Zempro, I wouldn't know how League players talk. I think I played League once, and people were toxic, and I was like, yeah, I don't like this game, I'm never touching it again. Alright, 73,000 for Remy, 34,000 for Dog. Nice five and below from Dog. Yeah. No, you can't do the left-right thing, because that involves pressing both left and right at the same time, basically, which you can't do on an unmodified controller, unless it's, like, really old and worn down. I think some controllers are broken enough that you can, um... that you can sometimes do it, but realistically it's not something you can do on an unmodified controller. So it's not allowed. It is a lot easier to do on emulator. 
So yes, you will probably get banned from everything if you try to do that. But that's really the only scope that I can think of for moving the pieces any faster than we already can. One seventy-two for Dog, one ninety-six for Ramia, Tetris for Dog, one ninety-five. Ramia slightly ahead in real time, but is also seven lines ahead. Tetris for Ramia, two forty-five. Burrito Dad managed to get timed out again. <laughs> How many times has that happened this stream? Two sixty four for Dog, two ninety four for Ramia. Tetris for Ramia passing three hundred K, three seventeen. Yes, Burrito Dad is certainly bringing some life to the Twitch chat of <laughs> this stream. <laughs> Alright, there is also some Tetris happening on the screen. I don't know if you noticed. I struggled to in the last couple of minutes. 366 for Ramir, 356 for Dog. I mean, with a little bit of a mess to clean up at the moment. Waiting for a bar, gets it eventually. Dog starting to build a lead now, he's at 402 at 82 lines. Getting a couple of pieces that he's got to put on the right side. Takes the double, looking for the perfect transfer. Not getting the pieces. Oh, Ramir. <laughs> Looking up very close at the screen for a second, and then sitting back again. That that looks like a thumbnail expression, honestly. Oh, nice spin from Dog, wow. Uh, whoever just subscribed on YouTube, I didn't catch the name, but whoever just subscribed, you know who you are. Thank you very much. We love our YouTube people. They don't create nearly as much mess for us as Twitch chat does. Or at least as Twitch chat is doing right now. I don't know. I've, I think I've been converted to the YouTube ways by... <laughs> by sitting here with Twitch chat for like an hour and a half. Tetris for Remy of 519 has one more Tetris available before transition. Gets it there, 543 into 19. Immediately gets another Tetris 2, 567. Dog still has plenty of runway. Is it 507 at 115? So yeah, Dog has potentially three more Tetrises available. 600 transitions, still very much a possibility. I mean, dealing with this long bar dependency in the middle of the board right now. Takes the triple, was maybe looking to turn that into a dirty Tetris, but didn't get the pieces for it. Tetris for Ramir into 21 at 648. Doing just fine with the speed change so far. Left side could use a couple more. Good pieces, but gets a Tetris anyway, 677, and is able to fill out that left. Has to block the well, gets it back open just in time though, 679. Dog has transitioned, he's at 624. Goes into 20 at 650. Oh my goodness, Tepper, what was that? I didn't even see that message, I just saw the I just saw it being crossed out. Do I even want to know what that said? <laughs> I mean, I still have the ability to look, but like, do I want to? <laughs> 680 for Dog into level 21. Ramia in quite a nasty situation at 769. It's getting it. Oh, sets up the Tetris and gets it. 
Tetris on row 5 for Rymea. The most efficient way to dig down, I suppose. Alright, nice triple to reopen the well. It's at 8.16 right now. It's basically three levels ahead of Dog. Tetris for Dog, 7.69. Dog is keeping this so clean on 19. 7.99 into level 23. Dog is locked in right now. You can see the look of focus. Playing super efficiently. Oh, an over tap of that T is going to cause Dog some trouble, but he gets the long bar to fill it in. Tetris for Dog, 867. Tetris for Rimea, 980. Just one Tetris away from the max out, and there it is. Rimea's second max out of the day, A14. Still with th three more Tetrises available, too. Has three burns for the 1.1 here. Tetris for Rimea, there's one of them. A84, still three burns. Into 29 at B20. So Dog's still ahead in pace, because Dog's pace is crazy, but he does have a little bit of catching up to do. And Rimea is still going as well. Still eking out some more points on 29. Hits level 30. Oh, still ripping those squares over to the left. Maybe even thinking about setting up a Tetris here. Oh, misses that second square, though. He's going to be done at B40. Dog just needs one more Tetris in the next nine lines to pass that, but an incredible game from Ramir, nonetheless. Dog not quite getting the pieces here. He's had to take quite a few burns setting this up, but... Should be alright now. There's the Tetris for Dog. And yes, the 5,000 people, not 5,000 people, the people who spent all 500,000 of their channel points have been saved for today. Dog's still going. We'll watch him play this out. Always love to see Dog play some Agro 29. Ooh! Dog going with an intentional Sharky bra there for the burn. Worked out quite well. But yeah, well played, Rimea. You've really brought something incredible to this bracket. We're not going to forget what we saw against Somalian in a hurry, and you've backed it up as well here with the mid 1.1 against dog you've shown an incredible level of play and yes dog is kind of styling right now with the 1.4 on level 33 but you have a lot to be proud of Romeo. okay vandy <laughs> Tetris for Dog, 1.5, misdropping that T. Oh, misdropping several pieces in a row. Oh, and misses the long bar to the left. But still, 1.5 at level 35. That's pretty good pace. Dog stamping his authority on game 3. Alright, there. Dog can enjoy the... Well, we don't even have free 40 characters on trophies this time. You've just got a trophy that says Mega Masters March 24. <laughs> hey everybody, this is your old pal Vandweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you, and have a nice day.